welcome to the first video in this series where we'll be developing Facebook and Android Studio. I'm going to start by giving a brief demo of the app so you guys know what we're making. Then following that we will start creation of the login activity. I left timestamps down in the description of the video if you want to skip ahead to the coding. And with that being said, let's get started. Now what we see here is a Google sign in button. If we're signed into our Google account on the emulator or Android phone, all we have to do is click this button and it will immediately bring us to the news feed. If you're not signed in, you will have to enter your Google credentials. So what we have here is our typical news feed. We see various postings from various people. If we're to pay attention to one of these posts, we can see a visibility icon. This is a global icon. We can also make it so the posts are friends only or private. We also see a time here as well as a like system and a comment system. We'll be learning how to develop all of these. A quick look at the comment system will show us that we have a comment itself as well as the ability to sub comment. Now onto the friends tab where we can see our list of friends as well as our incoming friend requests. If we were to click on one of our friends profiles, we get brought to it and we can see all of their postings as well as the fact we can click on their picture and their cover picture to zoom in on it. We can also see we are friends with a person and we can choose to unfriend that user but we don't particularly want to do that right now. Onto our notifications tab, we see all of our notifications. We can click on one of them and we're brought immediately to the person's profile. Now this person has sent me a friend request. I can choose to accept it here or back in the friends tab. In the profile page, this is my profile. We can see all of my postings. Um, also, pay special attention to the visibility indicator here. This is an only me post, and this is a friends only post. We also have the same features available. We can click on the profile picture as well as the cover picture, and we can also change the um, cover picture and profile picture. If we were to change the cover picture, it would look something like this. We simply just click on a picture from our storage and cover picture change successful. Now for the most important part of a social networking app, which is just to make the post themselves. So let's do that. We click on this little icon here to upload an image and we'll just go ahead and add this one. We'll leave it a little comment, sweet shot of a forest or something like that. And we'll choose the friends only post. Post is successful and if we go to our profile page, we see it right here. Give that a like. Okay, so this is our app and we will be making this whole thing, all the features that I just went over. So let's get started with that. If you haven't already, go ahead and open Android Studio, and once it's open, select File, New Project. We will select Empty Activity here. I'm going to name this Networking App. You may choose whatever you'd like. API Level 26 is OK, and hit Finish. So once this loads up, what we're going to do is create our login activity, which we looked at prior in the demo. To do that, we go to the Java folder, our packages, and select New Activity. Hit the gallery, and we're going to select Empty Activity. This will be called Login Activity. Go ahead and hit Finish. Now, this is also going to generate us an XML file that we will use to style the login activity. So, let's go to that. It's in our Res Layout and Activity Login folder. Now we're going to write some code in here. I'm going to go ahead and speed this up and explain after. Okay, now that we've created our layout file, and sorry that this got out of your line of sight, by the way, we'll scroll down there in a second so you can look at that code. But what we have here is we've created a relative layout inside of our login activity with a width and a height of match parent. Right here, further, we've created a frame layout to house all of our inner elements with match parent, match parent. Same thing for this image view. However, we see that we have an error, and that's because this image BG login is not in our drawable folder. So to get it there, 
I left it down in the description of the video and once you've downloaded it just move it to your desktop simply hit copy and paste it into the drawable folder make sure this says drawable okay okay and our error has gone away so that's good and now we have a relative layout to house our text view and button our text view is just going to be the saying that we saw in the beginning of the video and with a bunch of styling this button is the most important thing on the login screen i'd say and it has an id of sign in button this is going to be the one that allows us to use google services to sign in in order to do that we have to use the firebase console so let's go ahead and open up google chrome Simply type in Firebase Council, select the first link, and we're going to pick Add Project. Now the project name, just name it the same thing that you called your app, whatever it is. Continue, continue, default account here, and create project. We'll give this a sec to load. Okay, our project is ready to go. We'll select continue and we're brought to our project overview screen. What we're interested in here is this little Android guy. And now to register our app, we need the package name. So in my case, it's app. And to see the package that you have, all you need to do is either you can look here, app, or inside of your Android manifest, the package name will be right here. Okay, so let's head back to Firebase and the nickname optional we do need the sha1 key and to get that let's go back to android studio over here to the right select gradle go into app and then tasks and android and we're going to double click this signing report so once we've done that we can see our sha1 key is right here so give this a copy head back to our um, firebase and paste register app Now at this screen, we need to go ahead and download our Google services.json. So hit download here and we'll open this up and say show in folder. Give this a copy and we'll paste it into our app level of our project. Make sure that there's no numbers behind this Google services.json. If you do have the numbers, and hit OK. Now the next order of business is to go back to Firebase and we're going to hit next. So what we're interested in here is these implementations. Now we're going to have to copy this, go back to our project and inside of our project level folder, we're going to paste this right underneath here. We won't sync just yet because we have a few more implementations. Now we can go ahead and also um, copy this, the Google Play services, and inside of our build Gradle app level folder, paste it right under here. We can do the same with this next implementation. We'll leave some space and give this a comment so we know this is our Firebase implementations. And further, we need to go to docs in the top right of our Firebase. Come over to the authentication and we are going to select Android and Google sign in. These two implementations here will allow us to use our button as a Google sign in. So go back to our app and paste them right underneath here. Now feel free to go ahead and sync our project. And we have synced up perfectly. Let's go to the Android manifest file and we have to change a few things in here. Now, currently our main activity is the one that we will see when we're launching the app, but we do not want that. We are going to change this to default and we will copy this category in action, or I'm sorry, we're going to copy the intent filter here. Go to our login activity and just paste it in here. Switch this back to launcher. And that way our login activity will be the first thing that we see when we first open the app. We also have to write some permissions and I'm just going to copy and paste them here. You can go ahead and pause the screen. Make sure you have all of these um, permissions here and we'll be good to go.
So let's now head over to our activity login and change our button so we can use it as a Google sign in button. The code we have to type here is simply change button to com.google.android cms common dot sign in button. And let's check if that works in our design. Looks like we have implemented the Google sign in correctly. However, our button is a little bit out of place. So let's change that. Now that is because our width is wrap content when it should be match parent. And we have to change our layout height to wrap content. It looks like our button's up top. And that is because this relative layout here should in fact be a frame layout. All right, so it's looking perfect. Now let's give the app a run and see what we got. All right, great, it's working perfect. Now we're gonna head right into our login activity and we have a few things or a few variables to type out. So I'm just gonna go ahead and speed up the typing and I will explain after it's done. So here we go. Okay, so now that we're done with the typing, what we have here is our Firebase authentication, our user, of course, our sign in button, as well as our Google sign in client. So let's just move right on to the next little bit of code. And we're going to go into our on create activity. And right here, we're going to initialize our sign in button. We find the view by ID, and that's going to be r.id.signin button. And for the next little chunk of code, we're going to open up our console, go over here, and we're going to hit go to docs. Once we're here, we're going to click the little Android guy. Come over to authentication, into Android, and scroll to Google sign-in. Now, we already did this in the last video, so we don't need to do this, but our next chunk of code is going to come right from here. So just copy this go back to our app and just paste this right here we're gonna have to hit alt enter to import that make sure you hit alt alt enter on these two to import those okay so our next bit of code i'm going to go ahead and speed up again Okay, so what we've done here is um, actually initialize our Google sign-in client as well as a Firebase authentication. And our progress dialog is just going to pop up on the screen and tell us what is happening at the moment. Now, right here, we set an on-click listener for our sign-in button. So basically, you just say sign-in button dot set on-click listener, put a new view dot on-click listener inside of it. And within that, we override the on-click method and our sign in method will be um, directing us to our main activity. So let's go ahead and make that method right now. We'll say private void sign in. And for this next bit of code, we can go ahead, oops, we meant to make that lowercase. And for the next bit of code, we can go ahead and open or reopen our Google authentication. And we're just going to copy this here. Now uh, we can just hit C, open this, and paste that there. Uh, we can actually just erase this. I forgot I didn't even need to type. Okay, and we'll just back this up, back that up, delete this. And we're going to go ahead and hit Alt Enter here. So our sign in method is straight, and essentially it is just um, creating an intent, an intent, and then it's going to start our next activity. Okay, so the next thing that we have to do is override the on start method. So to do that, all we do is right click generate and go to override methods, look for on start and click that. So now let me actually make a little more space here. 
Now inside of our OnStart method, we can get it from the Google authentication sign-in right here, um, but we're actually gonna create our own code here. So what we're gonna say here is m Firebase user equals Firebase authentication dot get current user. So we're just getting the current user right here, and then we're gonna say if the Firebase user is not equal to null, then we're gonna say log and we'll say, let me all enter there, tag, and the message is gonna say, user is already, oops, already logged in. And we'll finish that up by saying star activity, oops, uh, activity, uh, activity, okay. And here we say new intent, and the package context will be login activity dot this and we will send us to the main activity dot class okay so all this is doing is um if our user is not equal to null then we're just going to start the main activity okay and then we're going to say finish all right looks good now the next bit of code we can get is directly from the um, Google authentication page. So we'll just go here, scroll to right here, and we're looking for on activity result. So we can just go ahead and copy this, come back and paste. Now we just have to hit all enter a few times. Okay, so we've done all the importing that we need. We have one method here that we still need to create to authenticate. And to do that, we can just go ahead and create this private. Actually, no, the, I believe this method is right on this page right here. So this Firebase auth with Google, basically we're just authenticating our Google account. You see the credential right here. When it's complete, we are checking or we're not checking, we're basically just getting the user, the Firebase user, else we're gonna say failure. So we will copy this, come over here and paste. So we will need to hit all enter a few times. Okay, once we're done importing, we need to change this here to say M Firebase off and change this one here to say fi M Firebase off. We also don't need this update UI or any of this here. Okay, we're all set with this now, and the next thing to do is to enable Google Login in our app. So what we're gonna do here is go to, back to the console. So we can go up here to the top right, say go to console, click on your app, and in the develop section, we can go to authentication, sign in method, and go ahead and enable Google login. You can also enable email password if you want to. Just go here and um, hit enable and then hit save. Okay, so now we're all set and if we go back to our app, we can give this a run and we're gonna be looking for something special into the logcat file. So we come to our main screen and when we hit sign in, we choose our account, and now we are going to go and look at the logcat. We'll say Google Activity, and we see that the sign-in with credentials is success. So what happens here is if we were to go ahead and close the app and rerun it, we will be logged in, and this is the main activity. So we're all set with that. Now, if you're having any problems with this and you can't get it to run and say success, I would first go and check the project files and make sure you have the Google services uh, JSON correct. And besides that, just make sure that you went back and have all this code how it is. That will be it for this video, guys. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe. And in the next video, we're gonna work on finishing the login page as well as maybe starting creation on our user profile page. So we will see you in that video. Thank you very much for watching.